minutes of the last meeting, April the 25th. I make a motion to accept them. Second. If we have any visitors present tonight that wish to speak, we ask that you stand and state your name and address and you limit your conversation. The board may not participate in any discussion and we cannot vote on the issue that you bring up to, um, at the present time. Absent an emergency, the earliest time that the board might discuss and vote on your matter will be at the next board meeting. Any groups here who have placed an item on tonight's agenda will be allowed to make brief comments when that agenda item is open for discussion. Anybody wish to speak? Okay, we'll proceed with old business. Uh, discussion and consideration of ordinance 24-530 to adopt the International Property Maintenance Code. I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second. Roll call. Alderman Jim Baer? Yes. Alderman John Gibson? Yes. Alderman Jim Gillum? Yes. Alderman Darby Patrick? Yes. Alderman Andrew Sugar? Yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Mall? Yes. Okay, the next one is uh, Ordinance 24-532, Budget and Tax Rate. I make a motion to uh, accept, accept the Budget and Tax Rate or open the board for discussion where it is. I'll second. So in the workshop, uh, Ms. Wood, we had actually discussed the, uh, like some changes to the initial one that we passed. Yes. Um, so should we, uh, you know, could we need to go over those amendments and then pass this copy as amended? Not necessarily vote on the amendments, but like that, um, just, we, I know we can't change the budget in the workshop. Mm -hmm. So it's not the same one we voted on last time, we're voting on, on a new one. Uh, what would be the, your recommendation or Mr. Major's recommendation to how we should pass this? Probably uh, should have a motion. Uh, as amended, uh, I don't know how many items there were that were changed. You might list them if there are just a few. Can we, can we just go over the, uh, some of the changes? Yeah. What, what areas did change on that? Um, okay, so we discussed um, one item was increasing a contribution to the senior center. Another item was uh, the addition of land purchase. And then the remaining, um, the remaining uh, revenues that were left to get back into paving. Okay. What was the dollar amount for these items? The, I believe the senior center was 1500 the paving was somewhere around 13000 and then the land purchase was 200000 and, and we went over the, the land thing, if it stays, it's just allocation, it doesn't mean it's spent, yes. it, we don't do anything with it, it rolls right back in. It's <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, was the senior center not 10% at, at 30000 which would be 30000 I'm trying to find one vote right now. I have 15. I think it's spread out for 26,000. No, it was 30,000 and it's with 5%, it was 1,500 additional. <laughs> We had a motion for amendment. So moved. Did you say you second? No, I'm sorry. Did you, I thought you were looking for a motion. Yes, I thought maybe. Did you make you a motion on amendment? Oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, second. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you were looking for a motion. A roll call. Alderman Jim Baer? Yes. Alderman John Gibson? Yes. 
Alderman Jim Gillen? No. Alderman Darby Patrick? Yes. Alderman Mindy Shooter? <coughs> yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Malt? Yes. So I'm going to pass it as amended. I believe. That was the motion. That was the motion. That was the motion. Okay. Okay, moving on to new business. First item is discussion and consideration of park commission meeting. For those who are, haven't been here, uh, there was a change. We had set our meetings every two months, but then we had passed where the board had to ask the people who were on the committee to have a meeting. That's my understanding. So, anybody want to elaborate? I have five questions for you within the three statements. Um, did, in fact, <coughs> you last no, Thursday? we did not. We <coughs> did it together because we thought we could, but we did not have the meeting in no minutes. Who was in attendance in that meeting? I was there. My husband was there. Jeff was there. Um, Pat and Stephen McLean showed up. Was anything discussed on the agenda that was proposed? We didn't have, well, I don't even remember the agenda. No. Uh, according to the email, two things were supposed to have been discussed, and that was the appointment of Travis Neely, which he's already been appointed to the committee, yeah. and the bylaws. So, was any of that discussed? Not really. The only thing we talked about was. Stop your thing. Not much of anything to tell you the truth. The fact that we couldn't have a meeting, we thought we were going to have a meeting. But I got my email from Emily. I didn't have my phone all day till about 20 till 6, and I don't know what time the rest of them got their notice. We didn't know it had been put in the paper. We thought we were going to have a meeting. But we didn't have one, Jim, so, we're, so don't worry about it. Well, it's it's concerning when we get emails saying that there's going to be meetings that wasn't approved of by the board. Well, I think part of, I don't know whether um, Darby and I both said we had already set our meetings and nobody said we couldn't have them. And I didn't think anything about it when I got the email from Jeff. I thought when we voted the second time, that was no meeting. No, that's what I thought. I, I didn't take it any way, one way or the other, but I thought when I got the email that, oh, that had done. Jeff had yeah. well, all we had done is ask the board for a meeting and probably would have had one. And that's all you had to do that. Well, I'm confused because the way those things have been written up, the board has to be the ones to ask and call the meeting. Is that correct? The Parks Committee has to come before the board and ask for a meeting or we can ask the parts to meet to meet on certain topics. But it's stated as such is what I said. Yes. That the board had to call the meeting. We had to approve their meetings, yes. Well, I don't see too much in point having a park committee really I mean what's the point? When are you going to call one? That's what I want to know. When Under what circumstances? When this board deems that it's necessary for the parks to meet meet. And what would that be that circumstance be? Well, to, for me, it'd be anything that's under the five-year parks plan that this board needs assistance with. So far, I don't think anybody on the park committee has received any type of information about anything being done up there. There's two members on this committee, I mean on this board that's on that committee, so. Yes, we are. I'm saying that we haven't received any information about what's being done up there either. What? They said somebody, a dirt, do you say a dirt digger was up there or something like, was up no, there? Yes, sir. I don't know if I can speak or not. But that's several months ago. They've done got all that completed now. <coughs> How many aldermen is entitled to be on the board? Oh, yeah. Just one? two. Just one now. There were two. Yeah. Darby and me. Yeah, the board's going to have to vote for which one of us stays on it. I thought you resigned. No, I didn't resign. I was going to go to the other meeting, but I got a phone call that said I would break the shine sign law if I went in. It was more than two board members, and I didn't go in. 
Well, we didn't have a meeting technically. Yeah, but so there so was I know no we, issue. You know, we went through that one before. I just didn't want to get any kind of trouble there. So it would have to be either you or him. No. But the it's mayor. Here. But you're allowed. No, the, mayor, the, mayor, the mayor, mayor's on there for whatever reason. I don't understand. It's only good for October, uh, November anyway, and then the, the new board's coming yeah. in. And it's just, it probably won't even be a meeting anyway, the way it looks. Well, the reason I'm in to ask you because I think there's probably some people turning in pay, and it's fraud. If, you, if you're not on the board, if you go up there and put your time in, you're not entitled to pay. I don't care if you go out here and work on the front street. If you're not entitled to it, you can't put in for this fraud. I agree with you. And I think he'll tell you that. I agree with you, I don't know anybody doing that, so. Well, I got the paperwork up there. I know it's getting done. That somebody on this board's getting money for meetings outside of the BMA? Or mm -hmm. committee meetings? This, this is not the right time to discuss it because I got the paperwork. Yeah. But I know it's there. I she know. knows it's there. I don't know. Any more questions about that? That's all I had. Anybody else? All I can say it was a disappointment, and it is a disappointment. Moving on to something better. Elected officials pay to stop in, uh, ordinance 24-534. I didn't see that in here, so I'm not quite sure what we're looking at. I want to make the motion of that to move that back to the workshop because it has not been discussed at the workshop. And I think it needs to be discussed. It was discussed at the workshop. I'll second that motion. Moving on. Uh, ordinance 24-533, Municipal Floodplain Zoning Ordinance. Uh, Emily has pretty much told us this is something we have to do. Yes, it's, um, would you like to speak on it? In order to have flood insurance in Mount Carmel, uh, you have to have an up-to-date ordinance. The FEMA has come up with a new model. Uh, the ordinance that's been proposed follows the new model. You can't change a comma, you can't change a word. You can only put in the name of your town, and that's what, in order for people to get flood insurance along the creek, that's what the board needs to do. I think I motion to accept it. I'll say that. Roll call. Alderman Nevaeh? Yes. Alderman John Gibson? Yes. Alderman Jim Gillen? Yes. Yeah. Alderman Darby Patrick? Yes. Alderman Mindy yeah. Shooter? Yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Mullock? Yes. Mayor passed it on. Our last item on the agenda is resolution 24-634, surplus miscellaneous fire and public works equipment. Uh, I did notice one thing, Emily. It says 634, but on the our paper it says 635. I don't know if that's significant to anybody or not. Resolution. I might have. I noticed I did it on the front page too for ordinance numbers, but yeah. um, I think I just transposed the numbers on the ordinance or the resolution. I mean, but um, just to speak on this a little bit, the uh, where the Public Works Department has taken over the brush truck, they had an old fire truck that they were using kind of for the same thing, so. Since they've got the brush truck, we're going to surplus the fire truck. And then um, Public Works had some other items that we wanted to get rid of as well. Do we have an approximate value on the fire truck? Uh, why? We'd be lucky if we got about 1500 for it. Would it have any value for the like, volunteer fire science class? Oh, at that yeah. point? Um, I, I'm not sure. I'd have to ask Mitch if he's, he wasn't available tonight. I mean, if we surplus it, it doesn't mean that we can't dispose of it in that manner. Um, I mean, if it's only, if you're only looking to put it on gum deals and getting it for basically this price mm -hmm. of scrap, yeah. um, you know, there's, I don't feel like if there's any value that they could use for the fire science program, we should at least explore that out first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can um, do that. And is that the only fire apparatus on there, that list? Yes. Okay. 
We have a motion to approve. <coughs> Roll call. I'm sorry, who had the motion? I did. Mindy second. Okay, thank you. Alderman Jim Baer? Yes. Alderman John Gibson? Yes. Alderman Jim Gillum? Yes. Alderman Darby Patrick? Yes. Alderman Mindy Sugar? Yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Hall? Yes. Mayor Pastor. Okay, we're at the end of the agenda. Uh, we're ready for any comments <coughs> that anyone has. We'll start with you, Darby. Yeah, I definitely say so. Yeah. I just want to remind everybody that we have the NERF for this Saturday from 2.30 to 4.30. If you haven't signed up yet, sign up on MountCarmelEvents.com. And darts are provided that you and some eyewear, but you got to provide your own. Gun. Okay. <laughs> I wondered if yeah. they brought their own little gun. Yeah. Okay. And they're Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, the mm -hmm. I was just saying, if there's anybody that, that would not be able to participate has not been able to provide their own gun, reach out to me and I'll make sure that happens. Jill. I just want to thank the. Uh, Fire department for their training that they've had this month, and I think the fire chief has completed his training for fire training or something, mm -hmm. instructor. Yes. So congratulations to him and one of the other guys that have done their training as well. That's all. No, I don't have that. No. Emily. Are you sure you were <laughs> telling me something? That's your job. I didn't hear what you were saying. I asked you to tell these people here the tax that was on the budget is not a new tax. Okay. Every <laughs> every year when we pass the budget, you have to also pass the tax rate. Our taxes are not increasing. They're not changing. It's the same rate as it was last year. But you do have to pass it every year. Um, Okay, I, I have um, one, well, two items will be closed on Monday for the holiday. The second item is our chief of police has finished his transition school yeah. and is currently acting as chief. So we would like to tonight, if it's possible, um, have Joe May to maybe swear him in or does he just need to stop? Possibly uh, vice mayor. mayor. Well, I'll leave that. I'll leave that to you, Joe. <laughs> I didn't want to put you on the spot. That's that would be good to me. Stand on his right hand. Am I reading or repeating? You can read. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll cut it short. I think the first one you've ever done anyway. <laughs> All right, I need to raise my right hand. I do solemnly I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States uh, and of the state of Tennessee and the ordinances of the town of Mount Carmel and will well, will will well and faithfully perform the duties imposed upon me as police officer of the town of Mount Carmel to the best of my ability and that I will serve the United States and the state of Tennessee and the town of Mount Carmel honestly and faithfully and will obey the orders of the uh, officers and the officials placed over me according to law. Thank you. So Thank you. congratulations. Yeah, good Everybody, I have one more comment I, I left out. Yes. I just wanted to uh, thank the employees and the fire department for participating. It's the color of the, the elementary school this, this year. Um, so rather, the fire department even stay, I think, for the whole day and it seemed like they had a, a blast. And if you would just, just send my uh, thank you, thanks to them. Yes. That's all. Thank you. Do you have a motion for adjournment? Make a motion. Second. Second. Oh, Meeting adjourned. Thank <laughs> you.